So Mike, let me ask you, on our bullet traps here, these knife edge connectors, what's required as far as uh, maintenance and replacement on these? Well, we've made these as a consumable part, okay? Uh, there's nothing in any range that's not going to take a little bit of maintenance. I mean, after all, we're firing bullets at it. Uh, so basically, the only maintenance you're going to have on our whole bullet trap is this knife edge. Uh, it is designed, as we showed earlier, it pops off, uh, and you can take a grinder and dust this off, or you can just do it right here on, on the spot. Uh, a little bit of dusting, but after we've had some of these uh, in use for five, ten years, um, and the owner finally says, hey, they're... They've been finally shot up enough where I can no longer dust them up and repair them. And it's just a consumable part. It pops off, well, you can purchase a new one and it slides back on. That is about the only part, is the only part on this trap that you're going to have to replace uh, after you know a lot of wear and tear and a lot of shots fired. Uh, so that, that ease of maintenance is, is basically all you have for this bullet trap. Well, let me ask you another question. With regards to our bullet trap versus some of the others out there in the industry, why would we want to go with a trap like this versus, you know, let's say uh, the horizontal apparatus steel trap or a rubber trap as far as footprint, um, building square footage, those types of things? Hey, anybody knows that when you go to build a range, uh, square footage costs money, okay? And how much square footage are we going to use in, in installing a bullet trap uh, into a range? This bullet trap here takes the smallest footprint of any bullet trap on the market that has a lead recovery system like this. This bullet trap is a max depth of nine feet, and so your, your footprint inside the building is much smaller. Some of the other bullet traps on the market versus a steel ramp trap, the horizontal design, or a rubber trap can take up to 15 feet of, of depth in your range. So you're going to have to build your building larger and spend that money for square footage just to house the trap. Whereas we save you the money on your initial cost of your building square footage as our bullet trap takes up about half of the footprint of the other traps on the market. And can I get more lanes of this bullet trap in based off the modular design than a typical installation of one of the other competitors' products? Well, as we've talked about, our three and a half foot design allows you to get more lanes in your width. Uh, we feel like a four foot or five foot bay is a lot of wasted space. And here again, a lot of square footage that you're not only gonna have to pay for initially, but that you're gonna have to have a larger HVAC system because you have more cubic feet and more air you're gonna to need to operate a system in that size of the range. So we've come up with this modular design of three and a half feet on center per bay, which allows you to optimize the number of bays you can get inside your building and therefore uh, make more money and income because you can have more shooters in your range at one time.